What's up YouTube, my name is Will, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my top 5 exercises for getting the push to handstand. So guys, as I'm sure you're aware, the push to handstand is a little bit different to the handstand push-up. So the handstand push-up, we're talking about already being in the handstand position, coming down and then going back up into that handstand hold. What I'm talking about is being able to push from the ground up into a handstand. So I do this piked, which means my legs are straight. However, you can do this uh, with legs bent as well, if that makes it a little bit easier for you. Nonetheless, it's still a really, really, really cool skill to learn. I had a lot of fun learning it and I'm going to take out some of the difficulty that I had along the way with these top five exercises. So let's go. Alright guys, so the first exercise that we got here is the shoulder stand. So it's going to be a static exercise for the most part. So you're going to get yourself up into this shoulder stand position on some high parallettes. I mean you could potentially do this on the floor but it would be quite difficult. Uh, doing it with your legs bent is obviously easier the further out you stretch your legs the more you're gonna have to use your balance But this is a really good exercise just to get you used to balancing in that Inverted position because uh, you're gonna need to hit this position in order to hold the handstand The second exercise I got is a tuck planche raise so you don't have to do these for reps and um, obviously I'm doing them for reps uh, Which is the best thing, but if you can only do one or two, that's fine This is gonna get you used to that first motion you're gonna have to do in order to press up into a handstand and getting used to getting your hips uh, up and over your shoulders. Don't worry too much about the technique for a planche and keeping your arms straight, you can keep them bent, that doesn't matter. The third exercise is elevated pike push-ups. This is just for increasing your shoulder strength. If you can't do elevated pike push-ups, then as you'll see in a second, normal pike push-ups will be fine. Uh, this is best if you can do as many reps of these as you possibly can just to get your shoulders used to pushing in this motion. I've also done a tutorial for this so I'll leave a card up in the corner for you guys to check that out if you don't know how to do them. But this is the best way to increase body weight strength when it comes to the shoulders. The fourth exercise I got here is the wall handstand push up. Now some people would argue that this is basically the same as doing the pike push ups or elevated pike push ups. This is just the next level of that and that is true. However again you don't have to do this one for reps so if you can literally just do one then that's fine but it's just to get you used to pushing vertically and kind of balancing at the same time if you aren't used to doing that finally the last exercise we got is the wall handstand so you would walk up the wall backwards facing the wall and just move one leg out find your balance and then get the other leg out and try and hold a handstand for as long as you can and obviously the wall is there to catch you if you fail to balance, uh, this is kind of the safest way and the best way that I learned to do handstand holds. As you can use the one leg there, as you see here, to find the balance. And if you fall forwards, doesn't matter. Alright guys, there you have it. My top five exercises for getting the push to handstand. If this video has helped you get your very first push to handstand, make sure to drop a like. It really helps out the channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go down there, click the subscribe button so you get notified every single time I upload. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.